Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacklers Workshop. Um, today we've got two two new accessories. Uh, we've got a um, a sanding disc. Now these are quite um, uh, quite a challenge to get hold of. Uh, it's got the the standard uh, M12 uh, thread in here for the Unimats. Let's have a look and see. Um, and it's uh, it's 90 millimeters across. Now. Um, <clears throat> This is, uh, yeah, as I say, they're quite hard to find. So I'm, I was pleased to be able to pick one up. Um, I think it's made of, it's cast iron. It's not um, the Zermac that they generally, the other ones are, are made of uh, other components. So it's probably from an early machine. But one of the, uh, the things um, <clears throat> that you may, oh, so effectively, we put it onto the spindle and with a, uh, a sanding um, disc put onto there. Or, um, uh, and then, then we've, we've effectively got the ability to um, uh, use it like a, um, or use it for sanding stuff. Um, but one of the problems is the, the issue from, from here down to here, that it will only accept um, round about 65 millimeters and as we've seen this is 90 so it won't actually fit on so which brings us on nicely if i just put that there for the for the second um this the the second one so this was pretty much brand new in the box um, i'm not sure it was as new old stock but it's a riser block and one of the so one uh so this allows you to uh put Put, put this in here to lift the whole headstock upwards. So we'll do that now and um, we'll see uh, if it makes, how much of a difference it makes. Now they're quite useful. I, I've been really trying to get get um, a riser block at a reasonable price, but to be truthful there, they don't seem to become available at a reasonable price. It's um, they're obviously uh, in demand, so you end up paying a bit um, a bit over the top, really. So we take the uh, the locating pin out here. Um, now we should, if that's undone, be able to lift the headstock and the and the motor out. Hang on, let me just undo that a little bit more, and out we come. Now if I hold that there, what we can see is we've got two slots. So when we put the, the riser block on, so normally the, the pin here comes in and, and fits there. But when we put the riser block on, it will come and fit. It, it will use that one. So if you put that over there and put that back, A bit of a pig's ear of this. It's a bit harder to get the alignment right. Um, so now we can we can do the uh, the bolt back up to secure it. Um, what is interesting um, is that this this pin is used to make to locate the this back on center line but with this in you don't have that so that's um that's that is i wasn't aware of that because you would need an extra long one and a hole in here and there doesn't appear to be a hole in here but anyway that's uh, just another thing to consider um but what that does it gives us now the ability to screw the uh the disc on i've not actually put this on a spindle before um so what uh what i did find sorry that noise was the other gopro um what i did find slightly surprising most uh, components have a um a hole in there so you can use a tommy bars to put it on and off um but I guess it's it. You can hold the um, you can hold the pulley wheels and use that 
to undo it. But what that does now, it gives us enough clearance to be able to use it there. Or as we've seen in other videos, we can, um, if we undo that, we can if we move the uh, cross slide back. We can turn it round and have it that way. You'd obviously do the nut up. So you can, it's reasonably flexible, but you could put it, so just, just for clarity, you could put it that way without the riser block and it would be, you would have enough clearance. Um, it's only if you want to have it there. And to my mind, it's probably, it's not a bad, bad idea having it there because it does give you the ability to, to rest something on there as you're sanding it um so yeah that's the uh the sand so that's a genuine um uh unimat sl um sanding um sanding disc i suppose you call it yeah and we got the the riser block so we'll take that off again i just want to have a look just to check i've not told you any lies and that there is no um uh location for the alignment so if we look at that no there isn't because that's the hole uh, this is the hole that we the pin goes through and as we can see on the when you put the headstock on or we'll put it back we put those So look, you have to get the locking bolt in a little bit further before you, um, otherwise it catches on the, uh, the largest pulley. But once you've got that there, you just align it, drop the pin in, and then that gives you that alignment and then you can tighten up the, um, the bolt to make it secure. But as we can see, this doesn't have it, so, <coughs> I think I will investigate to see whether there's a possibility to be able to um, drill a hole through and make a longer one of those. So that would allow the alignment if you want it still there. Um, and we'll use this, I've got another accessory I'd like to show you. So we'll use that, um, we, you'll see this again in the near future. If we can't, if there, if there isn't a way of doing this, there's another way I can show you. Um, I haven't got the thing, but we're, we're I think we'll make one on the uh, on this um, in the near future, which effectively fits into the spindle there and into the tail stock. So you put it put it in, or you push these two together, um, and then that creates the alignment because this is obviously quite wobbly. And then you then do up the screw at the back, or the cap head bolt at the back, to lock that alignment in place. Um, so I'll, we, we'll do that one one day. I'll show you that again. Okay, so that's uh, that's it. So we've now seen a riser block. These these go for silly money. Well, to me, it's a lump of aluminium um, with a hole drilled in it. I mean, I know it's shaped to match this, but you're looking at about £50 in the UK here for that, so that's quite a lot. Um, and um, and in reality, having all this cut out, I'm not sure, you know, one could just make one yourself. And I know um, uh, one of the guys has 3D printed one, and he's experimenting with that. The other thing is when you've got that on and you lift it up, so your centre height's up, that's fine if you're only doing an arrangement here, but your tail stock is still on the lower level and your cutting tools on the lower, lower level. So over time, what we'll do is we'll, we'll make a similar riser block to go on on, on the, uh, the cross slide here so we can lift the tool post up and likewise one that will fit on here to lift the tail stock up. So it will then just give you 
um, a few millimeters extra clearance um, so you could turn something a little bit bigger although it's highly unlikely you're really going to turn something giant but on here but it would be nice it makes sense to have everything that matches on the same level okie dokie so um <clears throat> that's the end of today's video so um many thanks for watching um as always stay happy strong and healthy and i'll see you in the next one cheerio mm -hmm.